Hello and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple login script in um, CMD. What's that? Uh, right. First, I want you to open Notepad through Start Menu and then paste in the code in the description. Now, I'll talk you through the entire code of this simple program which you can then use and change it however you want you can do whatever you want with it and in future tutorials we're going to bring this back to make something now first of all we'll pass this and move on to here because this you'll, I'll teach you after this now first of all this is easy setting the title to register it register, saying registration, leaving a line, and then here is an important part of our script. Now, the set script will set a variable called u, and it will display this. So that when you type in your username, it will set the variable u to whatever you've typed in. Same with the password. Now, this script puts it into a file. Now, the uf stands for user file. Not very inventive, but who cares? Now, now, whenever you are going to do if commands or viewing commands or echo commands for anything to do with a variable, you always put a percentage sign before it and after it. So this will save it into that file. That will save it into that file. Right. This is basically just a pause script. So as soon as you press any key, it moves on to the next bit, and the next bit is login. Now, this is a pretty tricky script, but we'll go through it bit by bit. Now. This is the set command we had from earlier, but it sets this to that command. Basically, all this script does is open up the file, read what's inside it, and set user2 to, to that. Same for the past two. Now, we want these two different from these two, otherwise they'll collide together and make a big massive mess. So, now, then it goes into login part two. Login p2. Oh yeah, and these, by the way, are just setting different areas. As I'll show you into in the go to script, oh, which I'll actually show you now. This script up here will ask if that file exists. If it does, it will move on to the sub if inside the if. If that exists, if they both are true, it will go to login. And if one or both of them are wrong, it will go to registration. Now, back to here. Once again, we set a different one otherwise we will have another one and I know it can be a bit tricky knowing three scripts all at once but here we are um, now you do another you do uh, an if script to ask if that is equal to what's in the file asking if the username is equal to what's in the file once again we have a sub if of if the password is also the same if they're both correct we'll go to the welcome if they're wrong we'll go to incorrect now, for the incorrect, is simple CLS, clean it, clean the screen. Um, basically, something like this the password slash username was incorrect. And then a. And then basically, please try again. Sort of thing. And then the go to script will make it go back to there. Now, for welcome, just a simple CLS welcome sort of thing. And we know what that does already because I've taught you that. Now, when we open it up, we get a screen like this. Oh, wait. For you, I'll show you how to register. So I'll delete my previous files and show you it. Now, registration username, Steve. password, one, two, three. Ah, wait. I know what's wrong here. I forgot to put echo. What's that? We'll read, we'll open it up. There. Right, so it should automatically skip to login because it's found the files. Now, I accidentally did that, so there you go. One, two, three. And now I'm in. Press any key to exit. Now I'll show you what happens when you put in something incorrect. See? And if just one's incorrect. See? And if just the name's incorrect. Now, um, 
So there we go, we've got our basic script working there now. I'll show you what happens when one of the files are missing. See? It'll register. Okay. See? Make that. Now let's try deleting the password. See? Still goes back to registration. Now we'll log on. See? There you go. And that is how to make a simple login and registration script in CMD. Please tune in for more of my tutorials on CMD and other types of programming. Thank you for watching.